Okay, today we're talking about the most misunderstood clubs in your bag, which are your wedges. And if you want to shoot lower scores, you have to get the right clubs for your game. So today we're specifically going to talk about the 60 degree wedge and how to pick the right one for you. Let's go. Okay, so how do you pick the right 60 degree wedge for your game, which is a critical club around the greens and the bunkers? You know, it's just a great, a great shot saving tool. So, you know, if you're like me, which one do I pick? Well, I get them all, check it out. <laughs> I'm using the uh, SM7s, so I've got a, a 12 degree, a 12 degree D grind. I've got a 14 degree K grind. I've got an eight degree, M grind. I have a four degree L grind. And I've got a 10 degree S grind. What do I use? Let's do it, I'll show you. Okay, picking the right 60 is not about how good you are. Like, oh, I'm a scratch player, so I need the um, uh, uh, four, no bounce. This is, or I'm a high handicapper, so I need all the bounce and a giant soul. That has nothing to do with it. It really has to do with conditions you play on, the type of swing you have, your attack angle, and what are the different shots that you like to play. Do you like to open up the face or do you like to keep it square and shut? So all of those factor into choosing the right 60 degree. So if you're a steep swinging person, you might want, you probably want the wide sole with a lot of bounce. So you come down steep and it keeps the leading edge from digging into the ground. You don't want that. So think about there, the wide sole, a lot of bounce for those steep angles. Now, when you're choosing your wedge, your 60 degree wedge, you're, if you play that out of the sand, this is gonna be a huge decision um, making factor for you. Like, do you play out of fluffy sand all the time or do you play out of hard packed sand? W what is it? This is kind of a grainy mid fluffy. So for me, I use my 60 out of the bunker. So that, my sand shots are very important to me. I have to have the right one. So I don't like a ton of bounce because it bounces, it bounces too much. And the sand, when the sand gets hard packed, I, it's hard to play a lot of bounce out of the bunker. But I don't like no bounce, I don't like that. And so I like a mid bounce, I got this 12. 12, that's all you think it's a lot of bounce. But it's got this grind on his D grind that just kind of curves away some of the heel so I can open up the face and I'm not adding loft. Almost made it. So you gotta think about what kind of sand shots you play? What kind of sand you play out of? What's your shot? Is it, again, is it steep? Because then you want that wide sole and a lot of bounce. Is it a shallow swing? So you want a little less bounce, maybe a less sole. Or I like sole when I want it, and then when I open up the face, less sole. That's me. So these shots here, in the rough, to a tight pin, if they scare you a little bit or a lot of it, I would go with the wide sole bounce, a lot of bounce, okay? That's what I would do, personally, if, it, if you are a little unsure. Just made it. I'm telling you, I might keep this one. So, if you're a little unsure about the shot and you want to make sure you get through the rough wide sole a lot of bounce and uh, square face right I don't I didn't open that 
Now, if you'd like to open it up a little bit, I like to open that face up a little bit personally, get a little extra height, even though I just made that last one. So I'll go with a little thinner salt, but I'll, I'll select a grind. This is a 12 degree balance. Degrind takes a little uh, grind off the back edge so I can open it and I'm not adding more bounce. And I can slide that heel through a little bit easier. That's what I like. But that's if you like to open that face up. And that's what I like to do. So you, what, what do you like to do? Are you open the face or keep it square? And then the grind, you gotta match the grind to your shot. Okay, so how would you play this shot? Right here. Where do you go? Where do you go with this? There's two ways I like to play this. One is with a lot of bounce. So we'll go back to that big sole lot of bounce. And I'll just chunk it fat and let it roll on the green. I mean, I hit, I hit way behind that ball. I love that shot. But some of you don't like to do that. I get it. So then I might go with. Now this is an off. This is no bounce, but you got to clip it. You got to clip it clean. It's a tougher shot. It's a tougher shot in my opinion. So for me, I like to open the face a little bit, okay, with some bounce. That's where I go back to this grind for me because it's got some bounce, but I can open that face a little bit and still play my shot. See, there's so many options, but it all depends on the type of shot you like to play and the conditions you play on. So if you're wondering about wedges and how to get dialed in, you've come to the right place because we are diving into the wedge game. We're gonna just be talking wedges for a while. Totally rhymes. And we're gonna go over just all the different types of shots you can play with all the different types of clubs. It's gonna be amazing. So stick around. This is just a taste of what's to come with our wedge game. And we're gonna look at clubs, we're gonna look at all kinds of different things that we can do to work on shots and really lower our scores. If you want your scores lower, this is the place to be. And the short game is where you're gonna get and shave the most strokes off your game. Hope you like this preview into our wedge series. Stay tuned, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and hit the bell so you get a notification every time a new video comes out. Thanks for stopping by, we'll see ya.